It's D Money Bala. Today we're going to be revisiting GeForce Now on a Chromebook. I'm going to be showing you how to install it on an ARM based device, and we're going to be playing some games. We're going to see if anything has changed in a week since it's been released. This is the Chromebook I will be using in this video. It's a Samsung Chromebook version 1, Chromebook Plus. It's got a great screen, 2400 by 1600 resolution. It's an ARM based processor and I will be showing you how to install GeForce Now and be and showing you some gameplay on it. In order to see what type of CPU you have, if you have Linux enabled on your Chromebook, you can do terminal and then we're just going to run an ls cpu command. And that will show us what kind of architecture our CPU is. Okay, so once that's up, we just run ls cpu it tells me that this is an Arch 64, which means this is an ARM based processor. So we're here at our desktop. We're just going to go into the Google Play Store. We're going to search for GeForce Now. And we're going to hit install and install this package. And then it's installed, we can hit that open button, and now we are okay to play. So here we are, we're going to try playing Destiny 2 on it. And I've tested this before, it responded to um, keyboard and mouse input. So I've got an external keyboard and a mouse plugged in that we will be playing with. All right, and we are in Destiny 2. It's playing on the Samsung Plus Chromebook. And here we are in game in with the Samsung Chromebook Plus. I'm just gonna play a little bit around play with it and I will show you how gameplay feels like. So we're able to use the keyboard and mouse that I have attached. Um, feels pretty good. Jump in the bike, you know. Blast and stuff. Yeah, the gameplay feels pretty good. I mean, it is a little bit laggier than I'm used to, but uh, still quite able to, still very playable. to try Fortnite again. And this is the Chromebook Plus. I have a keyboard here. It is responding to keyboard presses now, so that's really good. You don't have to have a game controller to play on anymore. So it looks like everything is working well. I'm going to be able to play some Fortnite. Gameplay was good enough that I was able to get a kill, even though I'm usually not that good at Fortnite. Moving over to CSGO, I will show you guys how it plays on the Chromebook. So now we're playing CSGO. It's playing really well, not very laggy, which is good. Lots of frames per second, it looks like.
As we've seen, it's easy to install if you've got an ARM-based Chromebook and it allows you to play games with keyboard support and mouse support, which is amazing. Now we can play all the games we want on the go. Thank you, NVIDIA. If you've liked this video, please give it that like button, and if you want to, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.